guys welcome back to another shop vlog video if you are new here my name is Lex and this is a series on my channel that I do where I just take you guys behind the scenes of me running my online plant shop business so this week is very jam-packed it is Black Friday week this is my first Black Friday in e-commerce so it is a big deal for me so I've recorded a lot of different videos so if you see me looking the same like that is exactly why I filmed a whole bunch of different videos so in case you're confused on that but yeah I filmed the intros and the outros way later in the week so a lot of stuff has already happened so this week I had to prepare the shop for Black Friday I had to make a bunch of marketing I had to do different promo codes for Black Friday and for the weekend and for Cyber Monday as well and then also I had to visit the wholesale greenhouse to pick up our plant shipment so you'll see a couple clips of me traveling there as well you'll see the plants that I got briefly in this video you'll see me repotting them and getting them ready for the shop update if you want to see in detail of the wholesale greenhouse and everything one by one of what I got I recommend that you watch this video up here this video is the whole tour and the plant haul as well so yeah let's just jump into this week and I will talk to you guys later I really cannot believe that it's almost Thanksgiving and Black Friday <laughs> I feel like this year has gone by so fast you guys I can't even believe it so you guys already know what it is I'm on Canva I'm making my Black Friday flyer this is my first Black Friday if you don't know I've only been in e-commerce less than a year so this is my first Black Friday I wanted to make a flyer that I could use for the mailing users and for the Instagram and TikTok people and YouTube people I have this gap here I was gonna leave it as it is so that I could attach the link here for Instagram and like put some text on it or whatever but if I'm using this for the mailing list I can't really do that so I'm thinking maybe I will put some pictures on here just showing like what's on the site maybe I'll just do that really fast and put some pictures on there but yeah I can't believe that it's Black Friday I hope our Black Friday goes well I'm a little nervous about it but it's okay you know what now that I'm thinking about it I think I'm gonna say I think I'm just gonna go and F it and say 30% because Black Friday should be like the biggest sale of the year. And normally for any type of sale, I do like 10% or 20 on like a major holiday. But I think 30 kind of stands out. You know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna go with the 30. It's only gonna be for that day though. Uh, I don't know. I'm like going back and forth. Like, should I have it the whole weekend so we can push like extra sales? But like, I don't know. Um, I didn't restock the site. And I didn't restock the site on purpose because I don't want to add anything new because the point of this sale is basically to clear out everything that we have. I'm really hoping that we do well. We've been doing really well for the last few weeks, but I'm hoping that we have a really good like clear out this day or this weekend. So super excited to see it. I'm going to try to add some pictures on here and see what we can do. And then I'm going to move around the site so that I can um, get that ready for Black Friday as well. This is my homepage. My intro banner is always going to have whatever season holiday whatever um it's going to have something related to cats so for the fall obviously we did pumpkins i think it's just a really cute thing it adds some personal touch to it um because i am a small business and you guys know my cats mean a lot to me they're also a part of my life so i think it's really cute to have cat related content as well so i'm gonna keep it season related related um i'm gonna try to stay away from holidays as best as i can so for the winter time it's gonna just be winter like snow themed i don't want it to be christmas themed because not everybody celebrates christmas and i don't want anyone to feel any type of way this is what i came up with at the moment i know i said i wasn't trying to do like christmas but like oh it's so hard to find like winter like themed like everything is freaking christmas and i hate that um but i think it's okay um i don't have like christmas tree or anything like indicating that it's christmas i know that the santa hat is like on there but i hope that doesn't offend anybody next year i might try to reach out to an artist to get some commissions done for all the seasons um that look like my cats and i hope you guys like this little little tiny bit 
of personality I add to the site because it makes me really happy. If you don't like it, then I'm sorry. It's gonna be there. <laughs> All right, y'all. On to the next thing. Today is actually Black Friday and it is 6.30 in the morning. James and I just drove two and a half hours to come to the wholesale greenhouse so that we could pick up our shop inventory for this coming month. So as you guys know, it is super busy because it is Black Friday. I have a Black Friday promotion going on for today only. It is 30% off the entire website and like I said, it's only 6.30 and we have a bunch of sales that happened overnight. So I'm super happy about that. So thank you guys. I'm really excited for it. Um, I drove here and then James is going to drive back home so that I can manage the site and check emails, DM, stuff like that. If you are curious about the wholesale greenhouse that I'm at, make sure that you go and watch this video up here. That will be the whole tour of us being here. It'll be in a whole separate video, so you guys can go and watch that and then come back to this vlog. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, we just finished at the greenhouse. It is 8.30, running behind schedule a little bit. Now we have about almost three hours to get home. So I'm just going to check my emails, um, check all the orders, respond to DMs, and I have some sponsor content that I have to post on Instagram. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then yeah, I'll see you guys when we get back. So here's a little sneak peek of the stuff that we got at the Wholesale Greenhouse. It is the next day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was so tired. We got home around 11 and we just like knocked out for the, the whole day and didn't wake up until like three, four o'clock. So today is Saturday now. If you wanna see everything in detail, what I got, make sure you watch the wholesale video. I'll put it up at the screen. So yeah, this is just a little sneak peek and here is the other bin. So since it is Saturday now, I have a lot of stuff to do. Actually, I'm going to repot all the plants today. So I will show you guys the whole process of that. It's probably just gonna be sped up because it does take me hours to do it. I'm going to be dropping off a local pickup order to one of my friends on Instagram, Victoria. Thank you so much for ordering with us. That's so awesome. And I'm so excited to meet you for the first time. Um, she's driving here now, so I'm going to go and meet her in a little bit. So we're gonna do that. The rest of the vlog probably is just gonna be packing up our Black Friday orders, I think. So I did give you guys a brief update on how Black Friday went and how it's still going. Black Friday went really well. Um, I'm so grateful that you guys ordered so much stuff. I'm so excited to pack it. It's going to be a long packing session. We haven't had one of those in a while. And I did extend the Black Friday discount over the weekend. We're only going to do 15% over the weekend. This is my first year in e-commerce. So it is my first Black Friday. Holiday sales are a very big deal for us small businesses, but it also is really hard on us as well. Owning a small business is not easy and it's not cheap. And I did want to give you guys a really good 30% off discount. It is a lot of money to take off an order. It might not be 70% off might not be 80% off like some other places but running a plant store is hard <laughs> and it's really expensive so I hope you guys were okay with what we did so I definitely appreciate everyone who supports during the sales and I definitely appreciate you guys who support when there's not a sale because that's a big deal for us as small business owners as well so thank you guys so much for everything and thank you guys for always just supporting me in general and supporting my YouTube supporting my shop Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, everything. It's just so amazing to know that I have so much support um, on all my platforms and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are enjoying this video and we can jump into some more fun stuff. So it's actually been a few hours. I just finished unpotting the new shipment plants and cleaning them up and pest treating them. Now I have to pot them all up in our soil free mix. I just made a big batch of soil mix because I'm gonna need a lot. So ugh, we have this big batch. I also wanted to make sure that I had enough because I have to bag up some soil mixes for some of you guys on the shop as well that made orders. I'm gonna just start potting up all the plants. Um, I think I'm just gonna speed this up because honestly, I'm so tired. It probably took me like two hours to unpot the plants, 
clean them up and pestrate them and my back is killing me from standing but yeah I think I'm gonna speed through this on your end and I'm gonna just put on a show or movie or something or YouTube and just like zone out and just get this done but yeah I repot all the plants into our standard clear pot this one here and our arid mix so every plant that you're gonna get from me is going to have a pot and our special mix and these two things are factored into the price of the plant as well after i'm done i'm going to just put all the plants you can see probably a little bit right here there's a big bin here i'm just going to put them in there and then i'm going to take them and water them all and let them drain out and then that will be it i'm going to find me something to watch and get this done So I just finished potting up all of the shot plant. I showed a little bit of it, um, but my camera just, I don't know what is up with it. It just like overheats every five minutes. So I don't always get like all the footage. Like when I'm speeding through stuff, I don't always get all the footage because the camera just always shuts off. I have three more plants to go and these are the plants that I'm gonna put in my own collection. I got this plant because it's gorgeous and I obviously wanted it for myself, but I also wanted it because I can just easily chop and prop it and always have it the shop however i'm extremely disappointed in the roots i unpotted it and it literally was just this so <laughs> yeah that's awesome <laughs> um now this is exactly why i unpot all the plants and repot them you don't know what you're gonna find once the plant is unpotted and in the situation like this um a few other plants were not that great so they're gonna have to stay with me for a while before i can list them on the site it's basically just like quality checking the plants the wholesale greenhouse is a phenomenal place this one in general is very clean i never had any pest problems there they do a really good job at keeping thousands and thousands of plants like at the end of the day it is a wholesale place they have thousands like of plants and it's just kind of crazy that they have them all in like good condition so i'm upset about this but at the same time you know they have a lot of stuff going on too these three plants i am going to pot up two of them i have to put a moss pole on them so i'm just going to do that now so since these are going in my own collection i want to use um the more clear pots instead of the frosted ones this is a four inch round pot i do sell this individually on my website as well 
Um, so if you like this style, you can buy these individually. Yeah, so I'm kind of just disappointed with this one. I am gonna pot it up um, and see what it does. If it starts rotting, I'm just gonna cut the roots and just make it semi-hydro. But I am gonna give it a chance. This one is gonna get put on a moss bowl. So I wanna just get that started right away. I did say that I need to get better at that. Whenever I get a new plant that needs a moss bowl, it's just better to get it going right away. So I hope it doesn't like rot or anything. I don't think it will, but it's just so annoying sometimes to, you know, unpot your plant to find out that it has like no roots. It is like, you know, a little frustrating. The Little Baby Thai Constellation too. Oh my God, let me tell you, that was a freaking nightmare because I unpotted it and it was all in moss. Of course, of course it was in moss. I had a feeling that it was going to be and it was just oh you guys know i hate moss so much like it's so difficult to work with and to like get the roots out and like the tie is such a sensitive plant for like root rot and shit like that i don't want to like pull on the roots too hard it was just like i don't know so i'm gonna keep a close watch on that plant in particular because I am not trying to have that plant die. So it might not go on the site right away. So yeah, I only did get one tie and it was because they really only had, well, they had two, but that one was like the best looking one. It's a sensitive plant, especially when it's a baby like that. So I don't wanna invest too much in them and then it doesn't make it. So that plant's gonna probably be in my care for a little while before you'll see it on the shop. It's just not a plant that I'm gonna just um put back on the site like immediately i just i need to watch it and that's just me like quality checking the plant like i just i just need to watch it but yeah some of the plants they just weren't in the best condition could have been better but what can you do that's like the the downside about buying like wholesale is the plants aren't always in the best condition so yeah this guy is like on i put them on the clear pole so we'll see how he does i'll keep an eye on the roots as well see how they're growing next one is the syngonium aria i got this one as an investment as well because i don't always have syngonium arias however part of me feels like i should just cut it now and then just list the bottom for sale i think i might just grow it out honestly i think yeah i think i just might grow it out so that i can just cut it like maybe more than once so this one is going to need a moss pole as well. So I'm just gonna make that now. The moss poles are flat and then you just build them. These moss poles are on my website. I have clear and I have white. We might get black in the future. It just depends on how well that these sell. I'm gonna pot it in a five inch so it has a lot of room to grow. I feel like this vlog is very jam packed. Um, like this week is just so busy like for black friday there's just so much stuff going on you know and i had decided that i was gonna take off uh friday from like my regular job just so i could have an extra day after the holiday but i was like you know what i need to use that day to travel to the greenhouse and get that out of the way i feel a little bit better that i just um took off and wasted the friday instead because i wasn't planning on doing anything on friday anyway i'm just filling the poles um i do fill all my poles with the aeroid potting mix as well all right cool so there's this guy so this is the last plant <laughs> if you watched the wholesale greenhouse tour you probably saw when i showed this so when i had first seen this at the greenhouse i knew that i wanted it i mean come on like it's just beautiful and look at the size of this freaking plant so i had initially thought if i got this one i could probably you know separate it and make it into more than one plant and be able to sell some well now that i'm looking at it i'm too scared like propagating anthuriums is so hard like and complicated it grows like in a big cluster so i would have to like cut it with like a knife or something for now i guess i'm just gonna have a beautiful bushy anthurium um i don't know where this is gonna go it's probably gonna go in the big greenhouse because it's sure not fitting in an ikea greenhouse um i'm gonna put it in the deep pot this is the five and a half inch one and it's got the slotted sides for more airflow this pot is really good for these big anthuriums these anthuriums are top heavy even like top heavy philodendrons like the billy and stuff like that this is a really good pot for that so you don't have to worry about it like tipping over and stuff like that right now i do only have this plant pot in five and a half 
I think in the future I might get six and a half and even a seven. I know that it's hard for you guys to see, but I also can barely see what the hell I'm doing. So it's just like really bushy. It's like huge. All right, so this is what we got. And here it is in the pot. It's beautiful. I can't wait to get some pictures and videos of this plant. It is so beautiful. And then I took a little propagation of this Hoya Sarawak. Um, we got some really big specimens for the site, but I wanted to make sure I gave myself one as well. You guys know I don't have that many Hoyas, so this one is a big leaf Sarawak, and I'm really happy that I saw it there, and all I need is just one little leaf. I can grow it out, but I'm gonna just stick it in water and let the roots grow in water, and then I'll move it to pond. Oh my god I am so freaking tired <laughs> I have been just non-stop since the last like three days even on Thanksgiving it was a day full of traveling you know we had to go to my parents house and then we had to go see uh, James family as well and then immediately after went to the wholesale greenhouse woke up at 3 a.m. and then now today I've been doing this um, since like one o'clock and now it is about seven o'clock <laughs> so yeah so I just cleaned up everything this is like my little table where I do the repotting and this is where I've been packing my orders tomorrow Sunday so we have a bunch of orders to pack and I'm just gonna leave this table up in the living room like I don't even care I'm just gonna leave it up because <laughs> I'm gonna have to take it back out anyway so right now I have all the plants in the greenhouse I just watered everything and they're in their bin but I have to go and spray them down with the neem oil dish soap solution so that the leaves can get all nice and shiny as well and then I'm just gonna set them in front of the fan so yeah it's been a long few days I'm still not finished this is what it's like <laughs> when I have to do um, the shipments and stuff like that. This is what it's like.
Good morning everybody it is monday it's really early in the morning it's so early that i haven't even started work yet for my regular job i have packages all over the place and i have to finish packing them because a lot of them have heat packs so we don't activate the heat pack until the day that we're shipping it so i'm going to activate them and then i'm going to close up the packages get them weighed get their labels on it and overnight we did have one order so i'm gonna pack that up now and then finish packing all the rest of the orders Oh my gosh you guys i did it two days of packing it might not look like a lot because you don't see that many boxes but in each box there is a lot of stuff and if you guys have been watching me you guys know what goes into packing just one plant so when you start adding five six plants per box it takes a long time you know so i am just so thrilled that you guys went on the site and ordered a bunch of stuff i'm so happy thank you guys so much we had an awesome weekend and as of this morning my squarespace hit 100 orders and i'm just so happy about that so i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support and your orders it really means a lot to me i never expected black friday to go this well thank you guys so much this was my first black friday in e-commerce i've definitely learned a lot and it was a lot of fun and exciting so thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far i appreciate you guys so much and thank you guys for the continued support and i will see you guys in my next video bye